Something has to hold there. Prabhuji is asking a question. I have no friends. When I suffer, there is no friend. I am utterly alone. My brain is feels this emptiness, aloneness, this sense of isolation. Is there in that isolation a fact that it says, see, remain with what is without the friend telling me not to escape? That's the question, right? So we need to see, sir, I have feeling. You see, it's not possible for a mind which has never looked at itself, inquired, no, investigated. That's infantile. But if mind which has investigated, looked, inquired, within it, within that state of tremendous sorrow, they, itself there is an intelligence which can arise out of it. The arising of intelligence is out of that pool of energy, shall I call it. Has that but tremendous see, state... Could, could take the other man, another human being, who has seen the futility of memory, limitation of memory, not escape all along during the, during the life of lifetime, and suddenly his son dies, his mind then is acutely aware of the pain and also because he has watched and learned before, perceived all along the line, then he's, he doesn't escape. There's no question of escaping. That's right. Now, what he has, he knows, yes. he, he knows, he yeah. totally committed to, I mean, he's got conviction. Not conviction, he sees the pain. Is the truth is there's no escape. Exactly. Now, what is the difference between him and the person who doesn't know? Of course, lots of difference. Because he's just a man who's asleep all, all his life, and somebody comes and no. hits on me, hey, he says, I woke up for a moment, he goes back to sleep. No, you see, this brain, which is awake and mm. faces sorrow, is not a um, it's not a brain which is movement, which is moving within past, present, and future. Let me put it this way: this capacity of being in the present must be the factor of intelligence. Are you saying, my put it simply, which is? This man has always remained with what is, yes, never moving away from what is. But to a mind which is always with what is, is there pain? Oh yes, there must be. What is? I, I don't with, mean physical pain. No, I, with what is is, I'm attached to myself. That's a fact. Could you be attached to your son if you were really a... Oh, I mean, don't, if you are really awake, of course <laughs> yes. not. Exactly. So, but that's, that's an important point, because if you are really attached to your son, then there are ingredients of brain such that you still don't know that at that moment not to do that. This so, is a contradiction, um, because of per, when per. you are always with what is, then it is a state of wakefulness where there cannot be attachment. Exactly. So that you, you're, that, you see, we are per, talking, he's not always with We are perception. talking of the intermediate stage. We are not talking of that state where you're so awake. That we are talking of moments of awareness, moments of sleep, moments of sorrow, moments of running away. We are talking of a very mixed bag. And we're, or even more so, we're talking of that subtle way that the brain tosses up, is, is faced with, let's just say, a moment of loneliness, and tosses up, let's say, this, just take a simple example, 
tosses up the self-definition, I'm lonely, and then is attached to that self-definition. And then the, the real feeling of isolation is lost, the suffering. So, so, so let us put aside that mind which always lives in the present. Let us take, what do, does, do I do faced with sorrow? All right, let's stop. <laughs> Do I realize an ordinary man that I am the past, present and the future? That I am time maker. Right, this is important. Right? That I create my own future. That I, that I am the time maker. I'm, I'm a slave to time. Do I realize that first? I can walk very, very swiftly or crawl along. Do I realize that I, what I am, the future is going to be? If I don't radically change now, the future is... I have no future, you understand? So I, am I aware of this immense fact that I am the time maker? My own, I am my own time maker. Hmm? I would start with a layman, with I am a layman, you come along and tell me this, and I see the truth of it. Hmm? Either I can crawl sleepily for the rest of my life, or as I realize that I am my own time, I can walk enormously fast, run, not to any end, run. Now, if, I, if that is the truth for me as a layman, then in that state of mind, I, my son dies. I think this is important. My son dies. I have a shock, natural, physical shock. And also there is psychological shock involved in it. As I am my own time maker, I, you follow what takes place in me. There is no question of escape there. I wonder if you are following all this. 